Hello everybody, welcome to the World Cup Qualifier NAF final between Toure and his Wood Elves and Andy Davo and his Necromantic. Well, it's not really the final, it's it's one of the critical final games, the final round to see who gets to make the 2024 World Cup. Um, well, online World Championship, I guess, I don't know what it's called. But um, we have Toure with Wood Elves, Andy Davo with Necro, I've already said that, haven't I? This is terrible, I'm, I'm really floundering here. Hello, Dimmy, how are you? <laughs> Hello Jimmy, hello everybody, uh, pretty exciting game, we got like, <clears throat> almost like the sort of final I guess, because th these guys were the top two coming into the last game, right, so, the uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be a banger, it's going to be an absolute banger, you've got uh, Woodies versus Necro as well, I've seen a fair share of these games at the moment, I still can't make out who I think is favourite for the game, but uh, it's a very dicey one. Yeah, everybody tells me, particularly Skaven coaches always tell me how bad a matchup Necro is, and so it makes sense that if it's bad for them, then it's bad for Wood Elves as well. And uh, in this situation, you know, I think I don't know anything about Toure, um, so therefore I'd give the coaching advantage to Andy. And then if he's got the racial matchup as well, then obviously he's a big favourite. And uh, But the interesting thing is, Andy has to win, whereas Toure only needs a draw. Toure will definitely qualify with a draw. And uh, Devo will very unlikely qualify with a draw, and uh, they will both definitely qualify if they win. So it's it's pretty interesting to see you know how like they're going to try to go for it now. It's interesting because I think it doesn't affect Toure that much, right? What he needs, whereas but if he manages to score on turn eight here, then that almost guarantees Devo's loss, right? Because then he's got to somehow try and score and turn over and win. So like it's it's going to be real hard. For Dave, or if he doesn't get the stop or, or like force an early score on defense, so this is the critical drive. Um, oh wow, that's a short kick, One that's stun. a pitch invasion. It's a stunned dancer. Oh my god, and it's yeah. Player. yeah. I was just about to say, like, that is the one massive scare for Andy is his goal getting hit by the dancer and getting removed before he has his own offense. Mm. Yes. That's like a big threat, but obviously that stun there might help. Yeah, it might. <laughs> so now Tura's entire game plan has to revolve around protecting this dancer from just getting gang fouled, right? It's terrifying. It's not I just put the tree, I think like, we just shuffle the tree across. Yeah. This is horrible, isn't it? Kick right on the line, <laughs> on the near the sideline versus a wolf <laughs> and a stunned dancer. An absolute nightmare start for Turo. Yeah, I thought he had to pick up with that one. Yeah, I thought he was gonna. I was gonna say like you can't just leave him there because he's. Uh... You'd rather like GFI with the dancer and stuff. It would. Yeah. That's really annoying. That stunned dancer. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah, that's 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 a nightmare start for it for sure. I hit with a tree. He's not moving the tree. Is that a grab tree as well? Is that? Yeah. Badly hurt. That's no regen because we've got the cutscene. Right? Yes. Yes, that's a that's a nice removal, isn't it? Helps. It, it, like the weird thing is, is it probably makes the foul a little bit more awkward now, right? Hmm. Because if he gets sent off, like, I know he's got the reserve, but it puts him on 9 for the defence, which is harder to obviously stop the score, right? Yeah. Oh, that was, a, that was a handy removal for sure. Like, I think, was it, line, <laughs> was it one of the, it was, I think it was like Andy's first NAF game, like, he went for the, he went hard for the tree in turn one, but I think he was on offense. Yeah. Okay. I'll, it'd be interesting to see if he goes for this tree again. Yeah. Like it's there, isn't it? He can jump in a guard. Uh, no, it's not actually there. No, it'd be three. Yeah, it's a rush. Yeah, it's a rush. It'd be three, four, five, six. He only, he only gets one D actually. Oh my god. You can't reroll this. Oh no. Yeah, oh no. Oh no. That's, that was really At least the ball, the ball was like safe. Yeah, but the problem is now he can get in. He can like you know two assist the uh, two assist foul the uh, 
He has got Johnson. like all the guys there. Yeah. Oh, he stood him up. I was gonna say like because he's got a GFI with the other zombie. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. He's got still, to come around the tree and still, yeah. still GFI to two assist foul the dancer, wouldn't you? I wonder if he's. Well, he's not. He's not following the dancer. Yeah. He's just gonna blitz this guy. Isn't he? He's trying to pile in. Pile in. Yeah, it's definitely not the start you want him for the uh, woodies. Oh, nightmare. Nightmare start. Two rerolls is, is really rubbish, right? Like, I, that's why I would have definitely like given up the, the tree skill to get uh, thirty more TV. And then with thirty more TV, you can drop down one of these uh, one of these catches. You can turn into the third reroll, which is obviously way better. Would you want to trade? Would you want to trade a tree for a golem? Uh, no, I'd want to trade a tree for a zombie. <laughs> really? Yeah. Hey yo. Like, what do you mean? Like, on your team, do you mean? Or, like. Yeah, I mean, like, if you, would you put the tree on a golem? No, like, not. just because. Oh, right, yeah, right, like, yeah, right. No, I'm they're not. Yeah, uh, they're AG4 plus, right? And they're, right, like, one yeah. of Andy's best players. Right. And then. Right. It kind of. <laughs> I I was meant like I would rather put a zombie on the tree. You said would you put a fleshy on the tree? No, right? no, sorry, sorry, I said yeah. it wrong. Yeah, I mean like if you if would you, you put had your a tree, tree, would you put your tree on a fleshy? Yeah, um, it would depend. Yeah, it would depend. It would depend. It depend on the situation and stuff. What I was trying to do. Yeah. One dice to go with tackle. Four or five. Yeah, he can't really can he? He could uh he can run past like there's a gate devil's left a gaping hole. I would just I would just three dice blitz with a tree or you know, blitz with a dancer and uh run through. I'd just get past him here. Because this early? Yeah, yeah, because why not, right? I just get past them. Get past them in the middle. And then um and then you can uh He hasn't got guard, has he? What a rubbish tree. Um <laughs> he's, got, he's, got, he's got grab Jimmy. Yeah, I, I don't like the grab tree. We really do not like Crabtree. Um, I mean, I don't think it will matter against the. Uh, <coughs> like, it's not going to help in his one turn, is it? No. Obviously, grab just cancels sidestep, so it's still a push. You can't then grab it into the square you want, and stand firm just cancels it completely, right? Yep. So it still doesn't help with the one turn against Necro. No. The problem with this blitz is he kind of need to move the tree first because staying in the middle, like here, if he's keeping the ball. Oh my god. He's if he keeps get the ball into, yeah. yeah, so he had to he had to actually go. That's why I would have gone past, just because you know they're a pain in the ass, right, Necro? <laughs> they are. Well, one thing he might he stunned. might put the tree on this golem on the left here. Yeah, he might do. Because like the thing is, is like yeah, like tagging the race is great, but the race are like actually three plus anyway, so it's yeah. The the fact that like that they're hard to get past, right? Even you know. It's hard to hit things, they've got loads of guard, they've got loads of size up, they've got loads of stand firm. Like it's actually hard to get past Necro and the fact that Dave would let you get past him, I think I would have gone past him. And then yeah, it's free. I think I would have I think I would have gone past for free. Um but he doesn't. Interesting, interesting that you would have. Yeah, I would have done. And maybe maybe, you know, he thought it was trap space. And maybe it is trap I space. I thought it was trap space, yeah, like, I think it's way too early. But having said that, it's like, like I saw your offense against Seabors, uh, <laughs> so maybe it's not trap spell. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like your your elves, right? You're fast. You've got every, like how many players have you got with dodge? Like fucking six players with dodge or whatever. So like, yeah. it, it's hard to nail him down. And then, but if he's past you already, it's a lot easier for him to dodge around and stall than it is for him to like try and break through at some point. Yeah. This gap is closing rapidly. Mm. One in nine. Now, how is he protecting this goal? That is the question. Yeah. Is he just going to run in behind the golem and then eye cage him? Yeah. I think I think the goal will drop back. He needs to, yeah, like, but there's a like you say, there's there's almost a gaping hole in the middle. I guess like the. Side steppers kind of sorting out. Yeah, the side steppers there now. Hold but on. Like honestly, I feel like it's like a massive win condition for. Oh my god, he's in there. I guess he's got the guard. Uh, but like, honestly, if, if um, Toure removes that goal in this half, like Kaz him. Yeah, it helps. It's, 
It's massive. Like that means he has to carry on. A oh, he's rooted. <laughs> Man, I was it. Who were we watch it? Was it? It was Tree versus uh, someone, and the yeah, tree, and doing. he kept re-rolling it, didn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I yeah. swear they just root all the time. Yeah, and yes, Zebra was. I, I obviously like ignoring trees as well, but um, if if like. Uh, you know, if it has to be, if anybody has to base the tree, obviously you want it to be a zombie. But was to answer, was to answer Timmy's question. Like, I don't want the, I don't want the tree punching my good players. Do I want it punching a rubbish player? Uh, but yeah, obviously elves can just run away from the tree. Uh, um, how tree? The so the draw here means that Devo is out. Um, no, he's not actually out, but <laughs> it's very, 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 very dangerous for him. He is almost he, like his tiebreakers cannot beat um, Niagara or Seabros. So he, well, Devo is not on a draw, but he's very, very tenuous. And on a draw, Toure is is, th is through. So Toure qualifies in a draw 100%, and Devo is very dangerous in a draw. And of course, in a win, um, they are through. And on a draw, uh, sorry, on a loss, Devo is definitely out. Um, Oh, he was loss. trying to hit the race so he could hit the goal, I think. Uh, and a lost two rears almost out unless he loses 3 2. <laughs> yeah, like this is okay, like coming back, like trying to turn into a Dakar kind of thing. But again, you've got to get past all these flesh goals and stuff. Like, you know, like it's not easy from, like, you know, you could see there that previous turn that I was droning on for ages. Um, like, now how do you break through this team, right? Like, it's not easy to get past this team anymore. And he's getting, he's also getting a dancer smashed and four dice. And all of a sudden it's just not easy for him to get through at all. It's still time for Yeah, but it's not easy for him to get through. Like what well, I was it's not easy, right? It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy to break through. Whereas so I I really like the breaking through for free. I really liked it. Activate the tree first to see if like the tree moves and gets out of the way. And if it rooted, like cause it did root the first time he activated. So if this had rooted the turn that I wanted to break through, I wouldn't have broken through probably. But if he hadn't rooted, then I would have gone for the breakthrough. So yeah, I would have I would have activated the tree first to see what the rest of the turn was looking like, and then I would have wanted to break through. It's Ooh, wrestle. Rerolls it. Oh, rerolls it. Oh, I thought he was hitting a dodger. No, wrestle. Just a stun. KO, wow. Brutal. Brilliant reroll from Devo. Greed Brilliant. rewarded. <laughs> I was going to say, yes, to do something to protect that wall. Interesting. That was an interesting reroll, wasn't it? Because it wasn't a turnover, it was just to stop being wrestled. Oh! Yeah, and the tackle is right there. Yeah, I'm smashing that goal all day. What's going on there? Mm. Can you imagine that goal gets cast? Yeah. It's not that bad, right? He's still got two walls. There's a gaping hole now, though. A huge, massive, the biggest hole I've ever seen in my life. This is this was a bad turn from Devo. He needed to be stronger here. This is this is a bad turn. This is almost drive over. I'm not hitting the girl. I'm beating this zombie, and I'm over here. My whole team's over here. Yeah. And it's about right time as well. Mm. Mm. Maybe blitz. Maybe him. yeah. Maybe he's like no. baiting him with the goal. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's just ignored it. Yeah, you gotta go. You just have to. Yeah, sidestep on the the surfable position. Nice. Yeah, yeah, the girl had to defend. Yeah, it had to. It had to. I'm, I'm shocked he went around the back. Like, you just don't want players behind the ball, right? Like, you want players in front of the... Between the ball and the end zone. And, like, his position wasn't dominant enough to warrant, to warrant that. Oh, he's going to smash the goal and screen <laughs> off. Wow. I think this is a bit greedy. I think this is... Uh, I mean, like, honestly, if he casts this goal... I think... I mean, I'm not a fan it's of this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. This I makes am. the push uh, very tenuous. Alright, 
So he's up there. And Dude, he's got... do the bottom corner first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do the bottom corner first. Please. Dodge this guy out first. He should have dodged out first so. and secured the bottom corner. Alright, nice. And now we smash the goal and then... Problem is, the, the thing is with this is his dancer's getting hit with the wolf again. Like... Yep. Gets the power with tackle. Greed not rewarded. Fine. I mean, that could have been amazing, right? That could have been amazing. To be fair, like, I didn't really like this way, but it could have been amazing because, yeah, he could have been. He could have broken good. down the side and killed a ghoul. Um, but I, I, I didn't think it was worth the positional loss personally, but fair enough. I guess you're 2 3 2 up here. Yeah, it would have been nice. Did he not re-roll that? Or no, did he re-roll that? No, no, he's only got two re-rolls. Yeah. He could have also just gone like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would have been... I would have probably just gone there. One, two... Yeah, three, I, five, I, six, I don't seven. think I would have. But I, I wasn't surprised to see a filthy elf player trying three plus dodges. <laughs> Outrageous. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do it, like... Do it with the other guy, right? You do the three two out, and then if you make it, just three two again. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think do the two plus guy first, and then and then try it's the three. It's the pal. He's gonna be able to wrap around here. Yep. Because the dancer that was that should have been up there was hitting yeah. the thing instead. See, see. Genius play by Davo. See what I mean, Dimmy? <laughs> no, not That's genius a... by Davo. It was, he baited him. No, he baited it was him. bad by two rate of fall for it. it sh he should have had... Th this This catcher could have been up there, the dancer could have blitzed this guy, and he could have had a much stronger screen. And instead, he's like, what's this guy doing here? What, what, stopping this... Stopping this uh, White from Wraith from running around 14 squares to hit around the back. This guy's doing absolutely nothing, right? So he could have... And this guy's doing absolutely nothing. So he's got two players doing nothing. They could have been out in front holding the screen and stopping him, his base getting... His cage getting based and everything else and all these players wrapping around. So I thought that was bad to fall for the bait. I, said, I, don't, I don't believe in bait. I, d I don't believe in bait. He could have just played a stronger turn. Rather than hoping as a does it does back. exist definitely. I nah, no, no. I bought some from a tackle shop before. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. I, uh, like I just I just think you could just have played safer. So just play safer. You know? Like he could have had his dan He could have had his ghoul killed. Like saying he fell for it, he could have just killed his ghoul. <laughs> then he's not really falling for it at all, is he? Yeah, now he doesn't have enough players up there to to screen out when he comes up. So now, does he go back again? It's horrible. Trying to get past this team again, see where he could have got past all of the team on turn two. Uh, I think you come back to the tree, right? So <coughs> he can go with the sidestepper. Oh, it's all no, I don't think there's any way he can do, he can get back to the tree. There's two fleshies, and uh, yeah. and race. The and tree needs to be that one square forward, doesn't it? Two squares back, I'd say, so it could punch that fucking flesh gun and still just push it anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, he he, he can get all the way over uh, to the right hand sides and like put a loose screen. Um, but he's gonna need some dodges. I think I prefer. Oh, he's just gonna do it that way. Yeah. If he's doing it that way, shouldn't the side supper be on the left? Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. There's no need to get a place. But the problem is then he can't reach as far, right? The problem with yeah. is he can't reach as far. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. And then he scores in early. No, you cut you cut twice, don't you? One, oh yeah, yeah. Oh no. One, two, one. three, four, five, six. No, no, there's no need to cut twice. No, no, no. You just oh, you got just that. one GFI. Yeah, GFI. Yeah, he goes there. And you're like, oh, I'm sure glad I've got two players in terrible positions because I wanted to hit a ghoul. <laughs> well, he probably hits the wolf here, right? He dodges that guy out and then puts an assist in, smashes him with the dancer as he gleefully runs past. I guess I'd move the dancer first. I'd move this dancer first. And then. Oh, dodge, well, you dodge. What, do the 3 2 out, with the other dancer? And then do the 3 2, yeah. yes. Then you're getting the other dancer back. Because at least you've got a dancer up here. 
rather than moving the dancer up, feeling well, no, rather than feeling this dodge and having nothing. Right. Where is he going? Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, you, <laughs> the bait here, bait to stop <laughs> for make Dave or surf your dancer. That's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blitz the, blitz the three two to blitz the wolf. That's not bad either. That's quite right. Yeah, it's not the worst. And then you can cheer. Definitely got to do. He's definitely got to yeah. do a cheer. Right? I, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's thinking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's which what? What the hell? No, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good because if Devo dodges to get the surf, then he could just fail, couldn't he? But you know, I, I would have definitely GFI to that. I would have a hundred percent GFI. What the hell? I'd have a hundred percent GFI with the uh, dancer to here. Because I mean, if anyone's gonna do the dodge to do the surf, <laughs> this is hard, all right. He needs to, yeah, he needs two assists, and also he's just pun he's getting to punch a dancer for free. No, there's no way he'll go for the surf. So that's that's pretty good actually. Uh, good, he might, he might, good. he might do the dodge with the other wolf. So he might hit that dancer with nah, the wolf. Nah, he's not doing it. He ain't doing it. Oh yeah, he's just filled the square he needed to. I mean, he could, right? If he if he pushes, then pals. Maybe he can surf the other one with a, with the wolf, as you say. Yeah, yeah. No, there's still a chance. If he pushes the dancer, then pals the dancer. Right. Then, yeah, then yeah, you yeah. can dodge and get it. So yes, there's still a chance he goes for the surf. Yeah, he he could do that way. Yeah, and then he then he's because he's dodging that wolf anyway, right? Because he wants to get that wolf involved. It's the push. So yeah, it's actually the second wolf. It's stupid that the second wolf is fast enough, but it is. <laughs> but yeah. and he has to put the other. He doesn't get the power. And now he gets to punch it with a with a zombie as well. Nah, he's gonna go for the surf, isn't he? Of course. Nah, course he is. Course he is. And it is a dancer, so you know it's not even, it's not Makes even wrong to go for it. He's got two assists as well. Would have, I would have thought he'd move this bottom ray first, and this is GFI in it. Where's it going? Yeah, it could GFI in, couldn't it? it could, I don't know. Where, I don't know where it's going. It could double GFI, but that's really risky, isn't it? So he'd want to do that last anyway. So then maybe he just put it six in. Base this, so base we, this down. We, oh, he's blitzing with it. He's not dodging the wolf. Yeah, because he wants that wolf back in the play. So the safest yeah. way is to blitz with this wraith that isn't otherwise doing anything and then just get it back deep. Very conservative from Yeah, uh, yeah surprising. Yeah. Surprising, feel, Dave, for playing properly. Feel like, yeah, I feel like we're uh, seeing uh, Davo Light. <laughs> right, it's just the the evolution of Devo actually he's, trying he's, to win a game. He's locked in, mate. He's locked in. He's focused. He's been in the kitchen. <laughs> he's been in the kitchen. He's cooking. Up, he's cooking <laughs> some shreds up, isn't he? He's cooking up. <laughs> well, this is another easy turn to stall. Now, he'll, now he's able to keep the sideline with sidestep as well. You know. Uh, Davo's taking this uber seriously when he's declining the surf like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, like the the wolf could have got counter surfed, and it was relying on dodging the wolf, which was pretty terrible. But yeah, this yeah, is I mean, just definitely gets is, another turn. Yeah. Uh, this is at least turn seven score, and the, the necro two turn is suspect to say the least. Yes, needs a lot of luck. But well, the problem is, is like the wraiths ain't scoring threats. The flesh golems are movement four. The zombies are movement four. You need someone to pick the ball up. Like so, you've only got the ghoul and the wolf as a real scoring threat, and then you can't really pass the ball. So you want to be in whatever it's called handoff range. And then the other thing is, is you've got a team full of leaping bastards <laughs> with tackle and strip ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a rough two turn. It's a very rough yeah, two -turn. it's uh. It's an interesting one. The question is, do you like you know he's got to make four one in thirty six rolls here, right? So there's, yeah, a, got to, there's yeah. about like what a one in ten or one, one in eleven chance so, yeah. he, he fails. Yeah. He fails one of those. Um, so I'd say there's a nine out of ten chance he's going to fail one of them. <laughs> like, that's not I'm correct. Afraid. You've got to go I've by the stats. Well, free Jimmy, I've but played it. <laughs> he only has to make two, right? He only absolutely has to make two, which is the sidestepper first and another player are the only yeah. ones he absolutely has to make. Um, it makes the side stepper. Yeah, he has to make. It is, it is, like honestly, the side stepper is good for the one turn. There's probably no one turn opportunity for the woodies. 
but it's actually like an amazing skill in this matchup, having been able to cover the back of the screen with a side stepper and not like yeah. also oh, get this. stuffed. This is greedy. This is greedy. Yeah, yeah not he's going to blitz him on the way into yeah. the screen, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I would have definitely just screened him and then and then assisted with the other dancer. It's it's, it's, it's done the wrong direction as well. Like, yeah. Shouldn't he blitz from the square up if he's yeah. going to? He can yeah. just push him through. Yeah, because now, uh, he's letting, now he's letting him free his wolf. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, was, that was very poor. And now he needs. Mm, no, he probably is all right there. Yeah, he's all right there. And it's still, yeah, definitely wrong square blitz from I think. Yep. Tidy. Yeah. I mean, this is looking like a very potential turn eight. Thor, right? I think he's I probably going to go in next turn. I don't know. You think? We'll you think? See. We'll see. I mean, those golems ain't going to make it back up there. He's got. He might. He might last. He might end of turn double GFI. One of them. One. One can GFI into here, and the other one can double GFI in. I mean, he might double GFI <laughs> in. He might just base this to have it doing something. Solid play from Turo. I yeah, don't know who this chap is. Like, he's mm. alright. He's pretty good. I mean, obviously, you have to be pretty good to be in this position mm. in this competition, but I'm, uh, he's done a few things a little bit differently mm. from how I do it. But he's definitely like a bit spicy. <laughs> yeah, but some of his blitzes have been. A bit of, I love the blitz on the goal, but yeah. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm an absolute shitter, and I'm proud of it. Anyway, so. But the and, but the thing is, this is this is another point. Actually, to be fair, like it would it would have been a stronger screen, obviously, if he if he had blitzed the lineman instead, uh, the zombie instead. Yeah. But he's playing Dave all right, and he might think I'm not as good as Dave all, so oh, therefore right, yeah. I've got a high roll a bit. If I if I take out this ghoul right now, that's giving me a lot of match equity. So you know, like that might have played into as well so you know who knows yeah. only yeah, only the universe chip yeah yeah like i mean you know it's the same for everybody like you know I'm not, I'm, he doesn't have to think he's worse than dave or you can just think oh i'm playing dave or um you know th th this is adding a lot to my chances if i remove the if i remove the ghoul here so whereas if you were playing a random person on ladder that you don't know you'd think all right let's just play safe but then i think uh, you know this oh mate if i'm playing a random geezer on ladder mate i'm doing all sorts of crazy <laughs> <laughs> so he does double gfi the flashy there yeah i mean uh, yeah. so what's he where's where's he blitzing is he blitz is... i don't know i don't oh, know mm. the, the problem is he, we might just get another turn of stall from the uh from the is, no thing. he's gonna he's gonna blitz the tackle guy with the werewolf right that's what he's doing. Because mm. he's yeah, like there's not the the way he's positioned but, those other but guys. But there's, there's another turn of stall, right? This is the thing. There's a, it's yeah, 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 yeah. It looks um, pretty easy um, for another turn of stall. Fully aware. No cope. Gets the pal. So, I mean, maybe Fully he's just a, maybe he's just saying maybe one in thirty six, maybe get the damage. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing else you can do, right? Like at the end of the day, there wasn't much more Devo could have done the turn before, and there wasn't much different Turo could have done the turn after. And there's it was the turn where he ran the goal round the back, wasn't it? That was yeah, the yeah, big that one. was what well, that was. That was that the was key the big one. Yeah. Okay, he's just, oh, he's, he's, got... just, he's just in range oh, of getting god. the ball. There you go. Oh my god! Jesus! Jesus! I didn't even look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, wow. well, I knew it was bad when he when he pushed him in to free the ghoul, but I didn't even realise how easy it was for the for the wolf to get there. And it turns out. It was oh, now he's definitely easy. scoring this turn. Even if he gets yeah, the he chance, can't. no, he's just lost it. Probably should have should have put the ball there. Shouldn't have blitzed the zombie into it. That was so bad. That was like that was the terrible mistake from Turo there. Uh, the blitz direction. That, yeah. that let Dave or free the wolf. That was really really bad. Now he's fucked, right? Like now he's just fucked. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what we do. Here. Like one D the wraith. Um, yeah, you stand up this catcher, and you dodge this catcher, and then you two D the wraith, and then like hope you power him, and then you pick it up on threes, and then score. Dodge in and score. Mm. Oh dear. Or you just. Score. Oh, you just one D skull. Oh. Yeah, he blew, he blew. So yeah, so Dave all made the ghoul misposition. 
and then uh, and then Tura made the blitz direction throw. <laughs> Basically, he threw the game with that. Or he could have just you know like had stood stood the. Uh, Where is the goal? The, the, goal right the goal can get in range here as well. Yeah. So yeah, they both made a mistake. It's just that Davos was kind of like a slight mistake that um, let Turi off the hook. It wasn't really on the hook that much. It was maybe that was maybe just a bit greedy from Devo. And then uh, whereas Turi's mistake was just a monumental, <laughs> a monumental turn ordering and uh, push direction. Like the push direction, obviously the biggest. The biggest. That was problem. insane. I didn't even realise. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes sense to put him there in case like you fail things later in the turn, right? So it was absolutely fine to put him there at first. Oh yeah, you put him there before the sidestep of dodge, right? Mm. Then, so it does make sense. But, yeah. Like you say, like it was the blitz, yeah. Yeah. But there was also something to be said for just hoping that you don't fail the two the first two one and thirty sixes and then you get a screen anyway, right? So like there was something to be said for going one across anyway. He's just one in nine. Oh, he's just one in nine on this one. So he's got one. So this is a three plus three plus. I want, he's got to put the goal in range first before you can't do the handoff now, surely. Ah, oh, he can. He's got the he's got the wraith in range, didn't he? Ah, hilarious. <laughs> He'll never get old. No, I think you just go for the pickup handoff. Yeah, but if you put the goal in range, then, it doesn't then, matter if you fail the pickup, right? Yeah, but then you but then you're too far away next turn, right? This is the thing. If you fail the pickup, how the fuck are you getting to him next turn? You yeah, hand it off to him it. next time, right? But no, because you can't go. You can't go fourteen squares next turn if you fail. Oh, the he's he's he's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's got eight squares. He can go now. If you fail the pickup, Dimmy, you're, it's only if you fail the pickup that it matters, right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, is you're only rolling the pickup. You're not rolling the pickup and the handoff. It doesn't matter. You're you're rolling it eventually. And then next turn you can throw the pass if if you fail it anyway. Yeah, so, but, so yeah, what I'm saying, he doesn't have the scoring threat otherwise, does he? Yeah, nah, I think it was worth just doing the three three. I think it was. I understand that this is what people do. But you have to reroll the pickup because there's a fucking dancer right there. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. And if you fail the pickup you better have the ghoul here anyway, kind of, right? So you might you might as well just do the pickup first. See if you use the reroll on the pickup. If you if you do use the reroll on the pickup, then um then like well you probably just stay here anyway right you probably just stay well, the here. problem is yeah he's gonna have instant 2d on it really yeah i don't know mm -hmm. where he's gonna put this ball yeah this is the thing right you can't just run up to it run up within eight squares of the goal hey, he's gonna have to up. eye cage in between these um well even that's fucking that iffy he'll pick up and go back to here and then run the other wolf around but then i want him for oh, he's made it no, he's just gonna he's gonna go for it well this this dance is a problem for him <coughs> Ah, he's got the screen there. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I would have rather not be hit by the dancer, right? He could have just handed it off and then be, had the ball here, and then he scored and won. Well, not won, but, you know, almost certainly won. So I think I think it was better to, better to not move the ghoul, see if you use the rear on the pickup. If you use the rear on the pickup, then you cage here. If you don't use the roll and pick up, then you go for the handoff. And okay, if you fail the handoff, it's not good. But if you make the handoff, you've just won. I like the handoff this turn. There's technically a a chance of a uh, two race scoring, right? He yeah. Could, um, one, two, three, four. GFI, GFI. <laughs> Maybe he maybe just goes for the 1D. So you just blitz him, power him, and then the ball like scatters to here, and then this guy picks it up and lobs it to somebody. So we can't really make it, can't realistically make it two dice, I don't think. I guess a, a 3 2. Oh my god, he really is doing this. Oh, fuck me. I don't think that was a good idea. <laughs> he just spanked it, didn't he? So it's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, this this is like really killing the game because um, now Davo can just turtle right. Yeah. But the thing is, it's not killing the game as much as uh, the other way, right? Because now, like Davo still like if it's one one, Davo loses. So it's not it's not the end of the world for the game. Like a one one is a loss for Davo. So. Isn't it a loss for Toure as well? No. Oh, okay. Toure has far better tiebreakers than Davo. 
Well, it might it might not even be a loss actually. So if if Devo draws, it might not be a loss because it's possible that uh, C draws a Niagara draw. So a draw for Devo is not the end of the world, but it's significantly it's almost the end of the world and significantly worse than it is for Touré. <laughs> Gonna three D with the uh, wolf, which is fair, right? It's a war dancer. Um, yeah, it's a tackle one as well. Yeah. yeah, I'm completely fine with this. Acceptable greed here. And only after he's tried the. Only if he hasn't used the reroll on the handoff, right? And oh, shit. Oh, in fact, he needed to do GFI as well, so yeah, he couldn't. He was never going to do the hit. Because he had to do a GFI at the store as well. Did the KO come back? Uh, it did not. Just 11 against 10. And it's 0 0. So it's not the end of the game. I mean, I wasn't saying it was the end of the game. I was just saying, like, the whole dynamic of not needing to score is, like. Yeah. yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is a lot different when you can just turtle, yeah. The amount of games that I should have just turtled and I've not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then just been like, why didn't I turtle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turtling's not, like, easy, easy, though. It's no, certainly not against dancers, either. Mm. But the thing, the advantage for turtling is like you just make sure you're as safe as possible every turn, and then as they get more and more desperate, they normally open up, and you can just safely walk through them. Right? Yeah. Unless they're casting your flesh golems, and they're not regening, and then casting your zombies, and yeah, then you dacker in for a three-nil loss before you know it. Yeah, that's not the passive aggressive Jimmy. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the Muppet Muppet Pac Man. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy does it way better than me. <laughs> yeah, when because we used to, we played a lot of Among Us with uh, Muppet, and every time you, you you go like, oh, how certain are you of this or like whatever, he just goes yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. So I do it badly because Jimmy does it well. Not hitting the tree this time. Interesting. All yeah, he's games. interesting. Mm. He's interesting. Yeah, all the Honestly, I feel like we're seeing a different Devo like mm. this game. It's quite interesting. I wonder like sometimes I do wonder like how he plays on tables. I mean like I guess it kinda depends on how comfortable he feels, how flamboyant he gets and stuff. Yes, I think yeah, I think he plays a lot differently. Like and the yeah. this, this is the thing, I think he plays like and I think this is why he did rubbish in the cups. Was he played in the cups like he plays in ladder as well? And I think in ladder he's playing to like maximise SPP rather than maximising chances to win the game, right? Like yeah. maximising SPP's earned. Oh, that's a lovely SPP quick snap. Return. Yeah, yeah a huge quick snap. Yeah, incredible quick snap. So I think that's a big. I think that's a big thing. Like he's, you know, he's basically a big old banger, isn't he? <laughs> you know, and it's like it does like fair, playing, yeah. Which is fair enough. Like that's that's the best thing to do, you know. If you've got a three thousand TV chaos team, you do better than if you've got a two thousand seven hundred TV chaos team. So it makes sense to like. And obviously, if you're banging person, you're not getting banged yourself. So yes. that, that's better as well for SPP retention. So like, it makes all that all that sense to be like mega mega banger in the ladder. I mean, look at Mister Pitt, right? He does great by just by just banging, 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 and, and that's it. So. Um, what are you doing here, is he? I think he probably so I think you know playing tabletop he's gonna think a bit more positional. He probably should have thought a bit more positionally in the cup in the uh, in the old days. <laughs> yes, side so step off the tree as well. Disgusting. Disgustrous. Very uh forward. Gets a surf here as well, doesn't he? Um if he Does wants he? it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. Uh no. Yeah. The problem oh, is but then, that he, yeah, you, he, he couldn't get this guy out. I see what you're saying. I see, I, I see yeah, he's it. Got, he's got to run around now. Yeah, he had to run around. That's why he made yeah. three dice. Oh, oh my wow. god. Is he going to Oh my god. He's not going to Oh my god. Is, is it even Andy Devo? Wow. Who is this imposter? Wow. I mean, yeah. If it was 1-0, maybe he would. Yeah. 
Who nice. knows? That was a pretty nice quick snap you got. Yeah, beautiful quick snap. Beautiful. But again, maybe a point shouldn't put players three squares from the sideline. I mean, yeah, it's uh, an interesting one. Like he Both have stands. Done. He shouldn't do it anyway. Right? He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight anyway. So he could have just served him anyway. Like if he didn't want to block with block on the LOS here, you could have put a, you know, he could have done put that there and stuff. So yeah, that was this was this was shit to be honest. <laughs> yeah, like because there, there was no one else with him, right? So he could have just done the blitz first and then moved the side, and then moved the side stepper in and got the serve or a, or a flesh goal in. So yeah, 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 yeah. So I saw, it, I saw the way it was you. Really yeah. bad. It was a really bad setup, but yeah. By two rate to be honest. Especially versus Devo, just because not that Devo is better than anybody else at surfing. Just because you two oh. rays are more likely to know that Devo can surf a player. <laughs> you know. I, nice mean, play. Good play. I like the werewolf one square back, I don't like it there because it can just blitz the zombie in base. Yeah. Ah, mm. oh. oh, here we go, flesh got him. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now we're trading Gollum for Tree Rat, surely. Mm, if we're the woodies. Ooh, ooh, feels the pick up. I think we're, we're more oh just swarming my. through now. Oh my. Now we're getting uh, an exciting turn of uh, four players coming down the side. In goes the tree. He might blitz that fleshy and then got the gate dodge, hasn't he? So he might just put the whole team oh. here. No, 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 he doesn't got the gate dodge because the fleshy stands firm and then he's filled the square. Oh, yeah, okay. Errata, errata, disregard. <laughs> but he can if have anyone a few knows stand firm, Jim, it's me, mate. <laughs> hey! Your knobs are always standing firm. Hey. My knobs stand firm. It's the annoying thing about stand firm is when you say, no, I'm not standing firm, they <laughs> immediately think, why are you not standing firm? It's because you don't. Like, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's like fend when you say, "Oh no, I'm not going to fend." They're like, not quite as bad as fend, but yeah. <laughs> there are well, times. Fend's, fend's is actually pretty good against frenzy. To be fair. Yeah, yeah, it's, it should be optional versus frenzy, but nothing else. He's got to get the size depot through at least, right? He has to get the size depot through. Yeah, I mean, it, this is it, isn't it? This is a big chance. The only thing is, is like, this is kind of all or nothing because he's just going to... Yeah. Which like, I think if he picks up the ball. It's nil-nil, isn't it? I think I didn't like the way he did it, but I think he's got to do it. This, this is good because it lets him kind of cut the corner on that one. This one can like get here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a one in nine now, isn't it? If you one in nine, he loses, probably. Well, not loses, but not loses, no. But it's not. probably one nil down. Yeah, it's not good for him. This one can still just try to do something, I guess, but it's not good as mm, if like a four. No, nah, just does four, well. four, two, or one. Stand on a stand on the wraith, maybe. Bludgeon it. Yeah. yeah, just stand on the wreath. No? Yeah. I think just standing on the wraith is probably better, but yeah, I mean, this is huge now. Yeah, if he fails this pickup, it's uh, it's a disaster. This is this is what I was trying to say when I looked at the setup and said the setup looks a little bit forward. That's what I meant. Mm. It's like... Well, that was the thing with the, with this surf, wasn't it? That, that, that cost him... Uh, it cost Heck him these see. two. These two zombies had to come up here, and uh, yeah. But I mean, he left this anyway, really. Didn't he left that. I side mean, it, it all goes back to like if you were trying to coach yourself, right? You come in, you, you set up for your half time, and then you, you think to yourself, "How do I lose the game from here?" <laughs> and Failed he, pickups. And he, he should have yeah, re-rolled the pickup. Like he didn't re-roll that pickup. Did he not re-roll the pickup? Yeah, I think I definitely like. I like the third. Like, basically, with tabletop, a lot of the time I decide between taking sure hands and a third reroll. And it's like, if if I can't take a third reroll, but I can take sure hands, then I I normally do because 
like it's so vital in certain games it's, it comes up quite a lot actually it comes up where it's just you have to pick the ball up and you either need the feed, third re-roll to do it or your hands it's like it was like corn I, I took sure hands on a corn gore and I know it's a bit crap but I could only fit two re-rolls in. Oh, here we go. So he's yeah. one, two, double three, GFI. four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, we're committed to the double GFI. He could use three, two, two. Could three, use two, three re-rolls this turn. <laughs> oh man, can you imagine? But it'll be, and even if he does, it's still like a four plus leap into one D it <laughs> with strip. So. No, that's the other thing, yeah, because you're playing against Woodies. Is that to go tight cage and not like? Because otherwise, he could have put the werewolves back a square and. I mean, he, he could have put the werewolves back a square and, and probably GFI'd the Wraith. Okay, yes, yeah, so the Wraith there, that's tightened up, that's tightened up the uh, strip. But he still needs oh, the pickup. Oh, he's made it. And he still no needs GFI. the GFIs. He rolled all him. the dice. Whoa. Jeez. I bet, I bet there is a mad... Oh my god, he's one in nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy for the, the Woodies to reset, isn't it? Yeah. And he gets to punch a Wraith. Yeah. Yeah, 3D a Wraith. And get everything back in front. Some re-roll burn, as Rick would say. Yeah. Foul that fleshy. Gang foul the fleshy. Could have done it. Yeah, I might have done would ya? I might have done mm, spicy, that feels very high rolly. It does, doesn't it? Especially if you've got a fixed goal. But um, the thing is, you're in a bit of a pickle. So Is he? Yeah. He's got 10 elves. Yeah. And, and he's, he's about just to picked kill up a ball and caged it. <laughs> he's about to kill a wraith. Yeah. He ain't about to kill a wraith. He's, he's, he's 100% that wraith is dead, Jimmy. It's not. It's a tree with mighty blow. <laughs> And it's got grab as well, so you can't even sidestep. Amazing. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Sidestepper on the golem. Those golems have won in nine twice already. Mm. Takes the hit with the tackler. Mm. Yeah, so we can centralise the stripper. Yeah, but I think I would have hit with the catcher and centralised both dancers. Yeah, I mean I would have done as well, but he can centralise the stripper. <laughs> And he's put it on the golem. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like that. Uh, oh, God, oh, okay, no, I'm, no. Is he going in with a wrestle? No. Oh, is it in the foul appearance? Right. What's going on here? It's yeah, the pal. Like I mean, it's not It's guy. not bad, it's just that I don't like it, right? Mm. Like, this is like the Chunter thing to do, or the Olivier Dulac thing to do, or the Inarian thing to do, right? It's just not Oh, he's going to burn, he's going to burn some, oh, my God. He's going to burn some rerolls. And he can grab him. He fully oh, gets thought... to grab him. They don't. They don't cancel out. He fully grabs him. Hang on. Grab should just cancel. No, it should. Like... It fully overrides it. Oh, it's a blitz that it, it just turns it into a push, right? Yeah. So grab. If you're blitzing, grab, grab negates just... sidestep completely. Right? Unless it's a blitz. No, it negates sidestep completely, right? And then in addition, when you block. You can place the player as well. Oh, I'm pretty sure if you blitz with grab, you can't use it like the traditional way. Of it course, just means because it's not a block. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, okay, okay. Yeah. Right, what, what, I, what I said was, I'm just, I'm, I'm not, it's, it's not why. I'm just, I'm just explaining it so that it's correct. <laughs> this, yeah. why does he want this catcher served? I guess because you'll hope that if he gets served, it's too much of a commitment from Dave Hall. Yeah, maybe maybe it is actually. Maybe he wants surf. This. I, mean, this, I mean, he's in trouble, right? He's in trouble here, Devo. Like, so this is the thing. Oh, he is going for the surf. Uh, Devo is in trouble here. But like, again, I don't think I would have done it this way because um, because it's kind of high rolling and high risk and stuff. And, but you know, this is how like this is how Chunter plays all the time. How Inarian plays all the time. How Olivia Dark plays all the time. And it works for all of them, doesn't it? So. Who's used to say if it's good or bad. I think he just wants elves off the pitch, right? It's Oh no, yeah, Dave or Surfing's fine, it's just that I didn't I didn't like the... Oh what you mean the Woody guy, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Woody's basing everybody. That was a one it's so, it's so annoying how often it works. 
And in my head, I'm just like, this is terrible. That and was then a 1D. I, did Dave know that was a 1D? <laughs> I think he might have had a rush of blood to the head. Too. I think, yeah, I think he just didn't see it. I think he didn't see that, that was a 1D. The tree hiding the player next to him, that's a new one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how David didn't see anything here. Like, the tree's right there. The player's right there. <laughs> 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. I don't know how he didn't think that was... I don't know how he thought... But, you know, I did exactly the same, like, thing in my game, right? I, I, uh... He's I not going to sideline him, is he? Surely. He's been quite, he's been quite eager to sideline in other games. But it seems really wait. crazy in this game. But yeah, maybe he will. He's got guards. So he can make it uphill, but then you just get surfed, right? Mm -hmm. The tackle, the tackle is in a really, like, I don't know why he took the block with the tackle. Yeah, no, I hated that. Oh, it's... Yeah, I, do, I would 100% do it with a catcher, yeah. Boy, he's doing a good thing here. He's, not, he's, he's declined the sideline cage. Yeah, he's, he's gone up in there. there. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's got a dodge with uh, this uh, wolf, though. Yeah. Yep. Look at dog, Devo. <laughs> so there's no way of tagging those two on the right is there no I mean there is but like you're not going to leap a dance with them. yeah not realistically and now he's got the problem of like loads of his players are on the wrong side of the ball because he didn't do the reset turn last turn so now he's got four players on the wrong side that he can't get back very easily and he's got like three players in front of the ball that can't really do anything to it so so now it's time for the reset turn again. <laughs> the reset oh yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't even reset properly, which is problematic. And you can come around like this guy can come all the way around, then he can blitz him, and then come back, and then. But yeah, but then, then you're like you're going all, all the way around. around. Yeah, but that's yeah. what he has to do. Like he's got no choice, in my opinion. I, that's all, that's, I think he doesn't really have much choice about that. That's what I reckon. Do. I reckon. You try and power the wraith with the lino. And get the tree blitz what, onto that like zombie. Well, no, 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 because you, you can put one of them guys in to assist that zombie They're and then not him getting back again. Yeah, I don't know. Him, mm, but yeah, if you if you get the tree on the goal, that's, yeah, it's not it's not bad at all getting the tree on the goal. Obviously, but you have to power the wraith in, in the first place. Yeah, the wraith is the problem. But I mean, like, but the other thing is punching that zombie in the middle. Instead of going around the outside, you can dodge through in the middle, like with the the, the rest of the guys. Yeah, I'd have just punched them both, and I would have tried to try to get control. Yeah, well, I would have done it last turn anyway. Last turn, I would have. He could. I mean, like, even the tree on both golems is pretty good as well. Yeah, he could have uphill the zombie call. Yeah, it's the pal. Is it? Did he no, hit with the tree? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's two dice to me. So oh yeah, because yeah. it's the guard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there's the tree. Uh, oh, he shouldn't put him there. Fuck it <laughs> oh, because he didn't want to follow. Okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, I thought he was. Blitz? Yeah. The blitzing wolf. Like at the end of the day, if he sc if he forces an early score, it's still a success. It's a still a successful defense, Glorious. right? If he scores, if he no, forces a success, if he forces an early I'm score victorious. from there, it's still a success. I, I, will I think draw is a win for him. I will defend. So this is the thing. Wait, yeah, if he scores. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but a draw is a win. The point is, he doesn't have to win, right? If he had to win, this is incredibly uncomfortable for yeah, Necro. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not easy to do. Like he is getting kind of forced into like a. Getting forced further and further down, quicker and quicker. Like he's probably going to leave a four, a three turn or a four turn score on, even if he does. You know, even if he gets in. So yes, it is. It, this is still decent. By two rear. I thought the wrestler was going to tag the ball then. Mm. Where's he going to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. Wow. Wow. 
well, I think. It's been a good game. Enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, I think Table might might do all right now. Depends if he passes yeah, dances. Been... Yeah. Really, I mean, like this dodge away he just stands here. Two days this guy, two days this guy. Blitzes with, what, with a wolf gets people players up and everything. Mm. Or mm. you know, he can blitz down here or whatever. Like he can he can recover and get a cage down here. He's getting another yeah, I... turns of scores. The, the the dangerous thing for Davo is even even if he leaves a two turn on for the for the Wood Elves, there's still a decent shot of them doing it, isn't there? Glorious. No, I won't oh, give in. Thank you very much. I'm Miss Torex. Sorry, I'm thank you very much, Torex. Staying fantastic for this glorious month. I will defend. M S R O G U Hello. <laughs> and thank you very much, Miss Rogue Merc. Is staying fantastic for two months. Absolutely glorious. Half a beaver. Half a beaver. Ooh. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. Is he going to blitz what? with the ghoul? Is he going back, is he? Nah, he yeah, can't Yeah, bl blitz with the ghoul so that he can get the wolf forward, right? Oh, he's going to surf with the other wolf, but then, yeah, I see what you're saying, then he can't surf go back again. Wolf, yeah. Shit. I think he just wants to. Or he could blitz with this, he could blitz with this one, right? He could blitz with this, yeah, he can blitz with it, I didn't see this. This Wraith's free, he can blitz with this Wraith. That's a pretty good blitz. <clears throat> the wrestle's pretty bad for him. Yeah, but it get, you'd need to get him off, you'd need, you'd need the wolf forward, right? Or maybe he does surf and stays where he is, but no, no, yeah, that's not right. Oh, pal. Full instant power. So yeah, that gives him both both wolves free to get down the field. But the problem is, yeah, yeah he can't get down the field because of the dancers. So he's just going to have to get him up to ma remain strong and stable. So now he's got two blockless blocks to make. And he's got no guard to protect it from the leap in, right? Um. Yeah. No. Yeah. He can. He can get. He's, uh, he's but it's harder have... leaping to the, to the back. <laughs> He's gonna have to sideline behind the zombie, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, what? Stay where he is. Uh, yeah, just stay yeah. where he is. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then he has to. Well, like. He's got. He's. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Tree blitz is on now, though, isn't it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Power me bludger. How old is bludger? No, you just stand the wraith up and then tree blitz ain't on no more. Yeah. No, no, he's dodging oh. off. Otherwise, you'd have stood him up like ten hours ago, right? If he was, if he wasn't gonna dodge. <laughs> so he was always gonna dodge that guy. Otherwise, it was horrendous ordering from Dave. Or... What do you reckon? Tree blitz. <sighs> on the zombie. How do you trip a ghost? Good question. Yeah, zombie. I mean, you can't blitz the you can't blitz the fleshy right because you'd have to power him and then GFI. So all you can do is uh, is blitz that zombie. I think it's pretty much the only play because he's refused to get people back in front of the ball <laughs> at any point. <laughs> it feels like he's got hardly any players. That have, I guess yeah. is that one of his own stun behind the tree? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's got two stunned this turn, which isn't good, is it? And he's yeah. got two removed. Here he comes. Oh, he's done so he's... <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> oh god. Oh, Almost oh, GG. God. Oh, and that might be that might that might break him from uh, stopping the stall as well. <laughs> well, that gets his tackle dancer surfed, right? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I think. I think he's gonna try. I think he. I think he will. I think he will. He um, just punch with the golem and then push the stripper out. I think he will try to surf the tackler. It, like you get in a stronger place by not surfing him. But yeah, you've, by it's surfing him, you've surfed. Him. <laughs> yeah. By surfing him, you've surfed a tackle dancer. So serving a tackle dancer is pretty fucking good. The problem is he's, uh, he's one short from the fleshy. Right, the fleshy could, could would like to go here. Would be the best place for the fleshy. Um, yeah, I see what you're saying. 
So then you could blitz from there, push, push, and then surf him. So yeah, he's gonna have to just do it. Just turn the zombie. Oh, no, he's zombie. Zombie. Okay, so oh, he's running all yeah. around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put the zombie there and made himself run all the way around. Interesting. Now it's pretty huge that this golem doesn't want in nine. So he did. He did do a rush anyway. So if you're gonna do a rush, oh, maybe he's not. I think my Maybe way. Yeah, no, I think my way with the fleshy was better if you were going to do a rush. Honestly, if you plan involved a rush, I would have, uh, I would have rushed the, the fleshy here and then done it my way. Glorious. No, I won't Whoa. give in well, there you go. until so I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Like you could have just got really far down the pitch. Hello, and stuff, Jimbo but and D I M B O. You're just gonna get hit by a, hit by a war dancer, right? So it, it does make sense to go for this. And this oh, yeah, does end up in a, in a lovely cage here, actually. Uh, that's a beautiful power. Yeah, it's a lovely cage as well, actually. To be fair. I think I think we're done, Jim. Yeah, it sure looks like it. <laughs> um, thank you very much, humorous chimp. Staying fantastic for eighteen glorious months. Absolutely glorious. I've just said that. Glorious months. <laughs> Four how, many, and a half how many beaver beavers? Pregnancies. How many beavers? Four and a half beaver pregnancies. The funny thing is, they, they have litters of four to eight beavers. So you could actually just say each month is, is one baby beaver. What's the uh, survival rate on a beaver? Wow, don't be so daft, Dean. 100%. <laughs> 100% survival rate on beavers. Ah, uh, okay. You monster. Yeah, this looks this looks done now, doesn't it? It's funny. It's funny how like from that that turn a few turns ago, locked him into this kind of play. Well, because he he kept refusing to like try to stabilize afterwards. Like he could have tried to stabilize. Like they weren't they weren't sexy turns. The stabilized turns that he could have done later. But I still think he kind of had to do them. And like, I, but then again, that's like my play style, right? Like, obviously, I play. Hey, I mean, Avo was one, one, three plus away from being one nil down, pretty much. Yeah. But it's like, I play the way that I play because I think I play the right way, right? So, um, so like, but Olivier Delac plays the way he plays because he thinks his way is the right way. So, and I don't think Olivier Delac would have played this exactly the same, or or Chandrarinarian. But the point is, like, you know, people can play differently because they think it's the not the right way to play, right? <laughs> if you get what I mean. So I'm not saying that my way was definitely correct. Uh, my way is leaning towards what I think is correct is leaning into the way that I play it. And I would have tried to reset several turns ago. And then, and then, but then after each time that he didn't reset, I would have still tried to reset. And I think, you know, even if Chunter or Inarian or, or Olivia Duak had gone for the turn that he went for, I still think they would have tried to reset at some point. Um, yeah, yeah, I think he should have reset earlier. Grab does not make one turn impossible, really. It's very hard because. Yeah, you get to grab the first hit, but then you've still got a sidestep and you've got to get three pushes forward. So I've, it's safe to say that it's... Yeah, and it's going to be sandwiched in between Stamp and God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's safe to say that it's not possible. Oh, that was the Blitz, wow. Yeah, I think he definitely needed to try and reset at some point. And he just hasn't, and he's just got his few... Like, he's down weight players and four of them are behind the ball. Not good. Yeah. Like, uh, pre pressuring the pickup was, like, undoubtedly correct, I think. Um, maybe not, the, you know, maybe the way he didn't... Maybe the way he did it wasn't optimal, and maybe the way I would have done it wouldn't wasn't optimal or anybody else. But I think he had to put some threat against, like, you know, so that if Devo fails the pickup, he's done so, right? Like, you, you have to put in some threat on the pickup. But then after the pickup was, and you know, he was in the, he did his GFIs and was in the cage. I think it was time to reset then, and then I still think it was time to reset any turn after that. Um, but he, he, so he, he has, he's isolated the guards here though, so he's setting up for a ball sack next turn. But I mean, it's all well and good as long as the dancer doesn't get powered and armor broken. Yeah, the the, the dancer can get four. But every every guard is isolated, right? 
Yeah. Uh, like Juggernaut, right, Galencho? Just like Juggernaut, uh, like Skaven or, or Underworld with a Juggernaut role, we can do it. But it's not easy. It's not easy still, but they can do it. We might see it tomorrow night. Uh, is it tomorrow night that I play Soul? I play Soul soon. I literally can't remember. I don't know why you're asking me. Upcoming matches, Tuesday, Tuesday, I'm playing Sol, so hopefully he'll have a one turn chance because I'll score on turn eight. <laughs> and he has been pretty decent at the one turns as Sol. Problem is he might not have any time bank left by the, <laughs> by the time it gets to do the one turn. Yeah, that's true. Long turn from Dave or here, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't an easy one. Like I say, all these guards are isolated, so it makes like it makes it really hard to move forward. Because, like I say, like yeah, he's, he's bits in the side stepper. Doesn't get him. Uh, so you want to go away from the golem and then back to yes. the golem. Yes, here. Yes, sir. and then back. I think. Gone beside him. Now he's gonna get hit by the fucking zombie. Oh man. Yeah. Now he's well, yeah, yeah. Now he's getting three dice by zombie. Or he just goes in front. Yeah, but now he's freed the guard. No, he's so like he should, he, he sh yeah, yeah, he should have gone back and then back yeah. on the thing. It's, it's yeah, an incorrect sidestep. Yeah. And yeah, and he gets three dice. He was actually only getting two dice right. If he'd done it correctly, he was only getting two dice by the fleshy. And they said, oh no, the fleshy does hit him. So he didn't hit with a zombie, he hit with a fleshy. No, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Interesting that he hit with a fleshy. I thought, yeah, I thought, well, that's his blitz used. And then because he's followed, he's also blocked the square that he could move through mm. as well. So it was a weird follow as well. Mm. So he's not going that far. He's going to foul him. No, he's just going to let him, he's sort of pulling a blodger, right? So he's just going to let him stand there. But then, it, if he stands up, he's got he's got a one D with the uh, strip foil through the side there. But like he has to do the three two with the wrestler. Yeah, three mm -hmm. two with the wrestler. Hello, little wrestlers. And if he, he if he powers if he powers the with the tree on the golem, then he can he's got a two plus to tag that guy out. You can do a three, right? This dodger does it. One, two, three, four, five, six. This dodger dodges three. That's two three. So yeah, two yeah, three with, with dodge. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. So he dodges through, and then he stands up, and then he comes in for the three plus four plus leap, isn't it? Four plus one d, and it's pushing out there where there's recovery. What's the well. no? The dodge is a five. Oh, well, I guess yeah, you just do the leap, and then if you're gonna put the reroll, got in, two re -roll. Re Yeah, yeah. I think you're four plus leaping. And then there may even be recovery options as well, yeah. which is. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, he's made he's the He's seen dodge. the play. He's seen the play. He's seen the play, guys. Yeah, this is the question. Like, obviously, re-roll re retention is good. There's only three turns left. Oh, he gets the dodge in. He gets the push. Gets the strip. Gets the strip. strip Where strip, strip. is this ball bouncing? Didn't mark any of the wolves. He doesn't catch oh, it. Oh, my, my God. It's goodness. a free plus. It's a free plus, Jimmy. Oh, my goodness. It's a 2 plus, 3 plus, and he's off to the races. He's oh, double he <laughs> Oh my he god, snakes. he could have punched! He could have punched him, but he dodged! <laughs> and he snaked! Oh my goodness. Oh. And now the werewolf can get out of brain? Oh my of goodness. Everybody, I think. Question mark? Yeah, I think he can. Oh my goodness. Especially, yeah, if he hits the dot. I guess he can't. Wow, that was mad. It was, wasn't it? That was mad. In hindsight, the hit was definitely the choice. It was a bit greedy, because in, like, I mean, like, the dodge is a 1 in 36. 
The block is a 1 in 9, but obviously I know you get to re-roll the block, right? 1 in 81, yeah. Yeah, so it's... And like, and then that, basically, he wanted the other player to come around and tag the rave, yeah, 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 I the think. Want, yeah, I think you wanted to dodge him as well. Or the werewolf. But, but this guy can dodge, like, right? This guy can dodge out as well. So he had yeah, 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 yeah. So he could have, he, he was probably going to go like 1, 2... Three, I mean, four, to be five, mate, six, to be fair, mate. Eight, after I attacked it and it scattered there, mate, like the blood would have been rushing around my body. I would have not been thinking clearly at all. I'd have been like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just run That's where it, It's where you get really loud and confident at the tabletop, like all laughing at them, and then you fail, and then you're like, oh my god. Yeah, oh, I, my god. I, yeah. I mean, I think I think it was worth putting in the reroll to where one eighty one instead of one thirty six. It, but. I think it's, it's so something it's, that... Well, it could still be annoying though. I guess you just pick, he's got to go with the wolf, right? Yeah, he's yeah, got to go with the wolf. It up, yeah. Um, yeah, I think... I think It's obviously easy in hindsight. Like, I think, you know, 99% of us would have dodged with a board I would have. I, I think... I, I think... I don't know. I think I would have dodged there. Yeah. Always oh, failed, but he's got it. And that, that is GG, ladies and gentlemen. Well, yeah, no, yeah, there's no one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Injured. Badly hurt. Injured! <laughs> that was a good game, Blob. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Was, uh, mm. I feel like it's already played well, and then I feel like. I mean, obviously, the mess up in the first half was horrendous. Yeah. And, like, the second half was a bit. Like, there's certain bits that he did really, really well, and certain bits that not so well. But. Yeah, I'd say he played like a. You know, a tier two. He played pretty well. He played player. pretty well. Yeah, he played pretty well. I'd say, I'd say he played. Yeah, but I mean, maybe pretty well. It depends. It depends, right? It depends how you judge people. Oh, like. Oh, he's giving him the uphill. <laughs> yeah, where, where, it depends whether you do whether you judge people on the Artemis scale or the Bonehead Podcast scale, right? Like some people are like, oh, wow, this guy's Jim, a great wow, player. No, no, wow. no, no, I'm not insulting Bonehead Podcast here. What I'm saying is, art is like if somebody isn't oh, one of the cool. top yeah. ten players in the world, they're shit. Whereas yeah. I imagine Bonehead Podcast, with him being a lovely fella that everybody likes, he'll say everyone, "Oh, you, oh, you did well, mate. Oh, good effort." And you know, like Rick, Rick would it was just solid, say, "Mate, it was lovely. solid. It was definitely solid. Yeah, it was solid. Yeah, I mean, it was good. solid enough. <laughs> it was yeah, solid, exactly. Not good. Yeah, yeah. And he made a massive, massive game. The mistake the in the first half was like, yeah, yeah. He obviously deserved, like, he deserved to lose it there and then for that. No, I mean, you know, a bit, a bit harsh, but you know, that, like that was a that was a very, very bad mistake. But yeah, it was like you know he did he did broadly good things. Yeah, like isolating the guards was really good. Yeah, I don't know how deliberate, but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, he's I mean he's got double power here, right? So he's got double power into the end zone, into the scatter, into a draw, and it's yeah. The double power it's... isn't terrible, right? He's got a reroll. There's no dodge. Oh, the goal's there. Uh, yeah. yeah, oh, I thought he blocked the goal. He didn't block the goal. Yeah, maybe One, the goal should have gone here. Is here better for the ghoul? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double J five. Yeah, this was this here was definitely better for the ghoul. One, two, three, four. Five, he has to six, cut. Seven, he has to eight, three, eight, two, eight, two, doesn't he? No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, J five, J five. Does right. not have to cut. <laughs> double pals. Oh, we can get a one D. He can get he can get a one D look he can cut with this guy as well. What so three two three? So like, that he could three two with him. He could three well three three with him. He could three three with this guy and then he then he then this guy can one D. Oh that's three three two two, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's three three two two, yeah, okay, I guess the uphill is maybe better. Big difference between a one D and an uphill though. The uphill's like a one in nine to work, isn't it? Is he go is he going for it? Oh my god, the mad lad is. Seabros would go yeah. for this because he loves rolling four GFIs. So there we go. He's well, got it's, the it means the push is. It means the push is interesting. Yeah, as well, yeah, right? makes the push better as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, maybe it was worth doing that. Yeah. Here we go. GFI's done. One. D oh god, GFI's not done. There's a GFI. One D. Oh my foul. god, in the corner. In the corner. <laughs> well, I don't know if he wants it in the corner. No, you want it out, didn't you? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't really want it out, I want it on two tackle zones on it. Oh my god, he's cursed him. <laughs> well, I guess he's got players still left to react, hasn't he? <laughs> but 
But he's got nobody oh. near. That's the problem. And he's just a three plus now. I, yeah. I wanted it on the sideline. I didn't. I didn't want it in the crowd at all. <laughs> you wanted it on the sideline. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you've got two players there. Like they'll have to be dealt with. And you know, like now, if it goes in the crowd, if it goes here, each scores. If it goes here, he scores. Like two of the axes are just One, instant two, touchdowns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, the wolf doesn't even need a gear for. Yeah. There's nobody you can get anywhere near that. No. He can tag the. Well, that does nothing, right? No, yeah, because the wolf is the player. Dancer could leap. And, uh. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Geofy, Geofy. And now it's, he's not making the screen, is he? Yeah, it's just the wolf, isn't it? It's like He'd have to get here. If he could get there, it would be okay. So it's just this is. Well, just can he do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. Yeah, he can. He can get there. This player can get there. Look, he can go there. Three plus, then jump, and then four plus, two plus, and then double GFI and get to here, and then he's making a screen for the wolf. And then the the, the dancer would go around and tag the the thing as well. Yeah, I mean the scatter was 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 basically guaranteed bad, right? I I I hated scattering in the crowd because it goes along here and then he scores, or it goes along here and he scores. Or it goes yeah, here, but if he flies good. down the pitch, like he, he's like guaranteed it, right? Oh, See, he's done it. This noise oh, doesn't do anything. Going. This doesn't do anything. He he has to he has to do the jump. He has to do this jump here. And then oh, get to make there. it a screen, yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess. No, it's not doing no, anything. This, 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 this is doing nothing. Neither of those did anything. At all. <laughs> so it's just a three plus for Davo. He's got a reroll. Eight times out of nine, he qualifies. I think he. I think he's got this. Yeah, great scout. I mean, it could have gone anywhere. I was just thinking whether. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I think I definitely would have scattered it out. Yeah, I know you did. You you were straight away. You were like, in the corner. I was like, no, in the I would, here. I would have definitely. We, when, I think it was going out regardless because it went back and left, right? I don't know if the animation has know. anything to do with yeah, it. But no, yeah, I don't know. But it, you left it like three squares. And I yeah, 2D6. Squares. 2D6. If it goes back, like, even if it goes backwards three squares... Then he needs to hand off, right? And then yeah. this is even more, like this is so much True, better. Like, but what if it just goes here and there's two tackle zones on it, and he's got to blitz one and into a frenzy trap, and then he's got to dodge out and he's got to pick it up? Like you know, oh my god, he's failed the first one. He's got it. Yeah, he's in. He's in. One nil win though. So that yep. makes him top, right? That's yes. Oh hey, well, yeah. I mean, he's not going to yes. score this one turn, is he? No. <laughs> no, he's not. So um, so yeah, so that is a win for Devo. Devo wins the tournament. Oh, extra extra turn, isn't it? A timeout. Oh maybe. yeah, there's a timeout. Okay, it's not over. It's not over. Errata, errata. <laughs> it's not over. There could be a it's quick snap no as well. Actually, right, there could be a quick snap and plus grab. Right, so the grab by itself isn't doing a lot to help you one turn because the, you know the, he's got a team like a monster team. To what's stop the? One uh, turn. But if you get the quick snap as well, maybe. Uh, what's the disconnection rules? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that is definitely the best chance for Tura now is a disconnect. Yeah, if if you disconnect, do you auto lose? Is that the rule? There's not. What? I don't think there's a rule about it in the rule pack, so you probably uh? do just lose. You know. Yeah, Devil has to set up against a riot. Uh, he doesn't need to care about stopping the one turn. He needs to care about the riot. A good game, I enjoyed this one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the game straight after this, Christopher B, is, is I'm pretty sure it's not Tree, it's, I think, uh, Tree's already played, uh, wait, yeah, Tree's already played in NAF, if you meant NAF, and in terms of, Tree versus Olivia Dulac in Super League is tomorrow. The game after this is Strider versus Monitor. That's a woody mirror, isn't it? Yes. Oh, uh, and it's... Riders with a tree versus monitors no tree, right? Yes. 
Oh, and he's just the one with Strider's head sidesteps better than Mighty Blow, so Strider's got sidestep and strip. Mm, yeah. And Monitor's got tackle, mate. Monitor tackle, strip, mate. Which game? It's Tree versus Olivier. Who's saying that? They haven't. They haven't. They haven't rescheduled in my. Uh, in 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 Super League Discord. <laughs> Not even the second best team in the starter box. <laughs> what? What? Don't be reading out hate comments, Jimmy. Well. well. How dare people insult my knob? Is she wrong or has she rescheduled? That's the question. <laughs> because we all make mistakes. So it's po either's possible. I've made loads of scheduling mistakes. Mm. <clears throat> is it? Is it, it's October, isn't it? When we go back to being on UK uh, on UTC, right? Isn't it? So it's yeah. like the whole summer's just miserable, and then as soon as it goes past October, you're like, oh, thank God, now I can just schedule in my own time zone. <laughs> yeah. Remember the back in the old days of OCC and Rebel? <laughs> um, I wonder... No, no, he can't. So what he needs is... He just needs a timeout. Quick snap. No timeout. Nah, quick snap. GG. Need a timeout. GG. GG. So yeah, Devo tops the tops the tops the league with sixteen points. Quick snap was really I wasn't gonna want to enough for quick snap right now. <laughs> well he we could have stepped the he could have stepped the tree in and used grab and then I don't know, leapt. Yeah, he, yeah, because he set up for the quick snap because he could have quick snapped the tree and used grab and then he could have like leapt over him and no. got the push that way. No. He was not going to score off a quick snap. He could have scored off a. Uh, he could have scored off a. Timeout. Off a timeout, yeah. <laughs> um, but there you go. So yes, Devo tops the tops the tournament, and Winbo wins the tournament. Yeah, congrats, Andy. With the minimal amount of touchdowns, he scored. Like, he only scored seven touchdowns. Won most of his games one nil, uh, including versus me, who finished second. I. Uh, he won five, drew one, and lost none, and I won five, drew none, lost one. So he's top, gets his World Cup ticket, and uh, I am second, and obviously I already had a ticket because I'm awesome and had won the Super League. So um, so the second place, currently, Tree has a chance to qualify, right? Currently, Miss Bell Tree has a chance to qualify because um, Niagara and Sea Rose could draw. But if there's a desire, if if Sea Bros versus Niagara is conclusive, then the winner of that will win. So there you go. Does that make any sense? Uh, I I just yeah. <laughs> right. So there you go. That that well well done well done to Andy and. Uh, and the, the question is now it, it just, is just do we get to um, <laughs> do we get to commentate and play or do we have to choose because it would suck if neither of us got to play <laughs> but uh, we'll find out I guess right um, that's that thanks for watching everybody thank you very much Dimmy being glorious in the booth yeah I enjoyed the game mate it's a decent one yeah Decent little competition. Yeah, that that was the table, so you, you can work out yourself what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right now, right. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.